Boost. You can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. Oh. You don't move too fast and don't come out into the light. It turns on if, if it's lit. Okay. Don't turn your flashlight on either. They could notice. Okay. But... Eh. Up. Why can't I... Can I not... Okay. Do I go a different way? Do I go this way then? I want my silence gun. There we go. Oh, Q! I can see my filter. Or I guess we can't lean. That's unfortunate. Where are you guys going? Yoss. Got stuff. Do I have inventory now? Is that a person? It is. Okay. Um, well then. Am I supposed to kill these guys? That guy is going to see me. I think he... I can't tell if he's actually facing this way, but... So maybe maybe all that matters is my light gauge, is that? Okay. Save? No? I thought F5 was quick save. Alright, whatever. I guess I can go here. All right. Oh, he's facing the other way. Okay, good. Hold down C to choose one. Ah. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Good thing Artyom didn't sneeze. That would be bad. Yeah, they seem like they're pretty stupid. <laughs> no mercy! That was close. Okay, so... I can... crash the game? Yep. Yep, I think it crashed. Yep. Cool. <laughs> All right. <sighs> well, hold on a second then. Uh, escape, control, alt, delete. All right, control, alt, delete works. Cool. I did just turn off the circuit breakers. Yep, that must have been what did it. I accidentally turned off the game instead of the, <laughs> instead of the lights. <laughs> yep, we did have an auto save, so it's fine. The game seems to save quite often, which is good. Okay, starting it up again. I 
I, uh, no. Previous launch was unaccessible. Start in safe mode. No. I wish I had some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it did have a day one patch mm. so I was hovering over I don't know if this had anything to do with anything but I pressed the scroll wheel like because I was just as I was hovering over like the weapon select that I was going to pick up that weapon and I thought I might as well try like using the scroll in case that would switch between weapons but it didn't and I, I don't know if that's what crashed the game but that's what happened is as it was crashing. <laughs> when it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet. In the <clears throat> metro, it's common knowledge. No, we're not alone. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately drawn out by the static. There we go. Jeez. I had heard it. That was quite a loading time. Oh, is all the way back here? All right, fine, whatever. Uh, well, all right. So, I've, I've only got three of these bullets, so I'd rather not use them. There's no loot in here. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here right away. Lights are flashing. Because I could shoot these, but that seems like a waste of my bullets right now. Anything in here? that time. I'm just gonna stay here. Let's let's find out how stupid they are. Okay, fine. Oh. I'll take that. stealth that time, but it's fine. I guess. I guess I'll turn this off. Alright, you're doing good, Anna. You're doing great. What is this? Oh. Did someone just throw something at me? Anna's just shooting everyone. That's fine. Oops. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Same gun? I think it's the same gun. Okay. Well, we get more loot this way. Ow! 
one shot. All right. Full, huh? There's a ladder. It's quite hard to see. <laughs> Typical stealth mission. Yeah, pretty much. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to stealth. I'm not worried. Ooh, hello. No. I want that. Damn it. I wonder... Is Anna up there somewhere? Attention! The commander will be under enemy attack. Enemy attack! Okay. All unauthorized persons are... I'm just gonna crawl under here. Civilian first gear movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. What does this do? Oh. All right. Am I out of combat? Because if I am, I'd like to try stealthing again. I think I killed everyone. Can I take these cans? Oh, I still hear voices. Oh, the hangar is right there. Where? Oh, hi. Good night. I do not like that I can't loot things. My inventory is full. Alright, let's just move on so we can, like... Get out of the tutorial place. Oh. Great job, Arteon. Thank you. Who is a modded one? Don't mind the fadu. Uh, now we have to find your back. Okay. Now we have to find your Mac. Okay, wait. Before we go in there, I want to look around. Ooh, let's. Don't forget to turn your flashlight off and hide in the shadows. Thank you, yes. All right, so there's two different ways to go. Ooh. Wait a second. I didn't read this yet. To all personnel of the shield project special guard detail, in recent years there's been noticeable increase in the number of attempts to breach our defenses by spies and enemy agents belonging to the previously uncommon demographics, women, old people, teenagers. This serves to prove the utmost efficiency of the special details defense effort, leaving the enemies no chance of ever achieving their goals by mapping our defense perimeter and carrying and sabotaging by employing standard tactics. For that reason, all members of special guard detail personnel must carry out their duties responsibly and never falter in applying the special measures in any and all enemy agents detained. Remember, the enemy is resourceful and deceitful. The enemy is desperate enough to throw the last reserves into battle. Still, the enemy resources are still vast, and our, cor our cornered rat is only more dangerous. If you get closer, I'll distract them while you rescue the old man. How did I put that up? 
What about this, uh... Ooh. Try going down that ladder ahead. No, I'm, I'm not ready, Anna. I'm still looting. Okay. It said E before, didn't it? Didn't it say I could crawl in there before? I'm pretty sure that it did. Did I miss my opportunity? Why can't I just use the crawly? Crouchy. <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Stupid game. Good night, Aussie Hack. Look, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Uh, it's very dark. Can I put this down? Report your setting. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? A lot. Can I go under here? Nope. Wait, how do I see? Oh shit! That's not what I meant to do! <sighs> okay, that's what I meant to do. Bones. I know where I'm going. <coughs> Group D, redeploy to the generator room. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! I wish I could lean. Leaning is always really welcome in stealth games. Oh! I found him! That out. All clear. We'll just do that then. Hello. Um, I'm just. Is there any loot in here? All right. Never mind. Hey, man. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. Okay. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch the down. turntable mechanism. So we are literally stealing this train, huh? Please, be careful. We could easily have to on us. Sounds good to me. You don't 
don't know the power of the dark side. Other gun, please. Ow! Thank you, Rooster. Distress. Pull the bits. Turn what on? Okay, but I want to loot. Can I do? Turn the on. <laughs> you could turn it on, you know. It looks like a med kit. Can I have it? Okay. Got it. Explosives? I think they're just water. Maybe. No, I don't know. It looks like gas. I don't know. Yep, it was gas. Okay. Okay. Or I just did. <laughs> don't don't let go, RTM. He lets go. <laughs> Are you okay? See them? Oh, okay, I see them now. How come she can lean and I can't? It's not fair. Let's do this together. Okay. We might want to get on the train now. Go, RTM, run, run faster. Why are you walking, RTM? You dumb dumb. Yes. Not out yet. Here. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! Oh, 
Legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this misunderstanding. It's not my call, and you're not. Misunderstanding. Well, Captain I'll Jack. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. It's it's not not the the all right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. Yeah. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Yeah. I wonder why they did that. You were getting irradiated on the surface. My father just kept lying. Lying to you, to me, to everyone. The whole fucking world. And not even batting an eye. Who's maintaining these train tracks? Uh oh. They didn't give us much time to come out with our hands that above our heads. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Funny, that's an honor. But look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, here, stop uh, But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Here, man, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, finally some good sense! Now, keep braking to a stop! Well, the grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do uh. it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk and he better do something about it. Our team, leave over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Is that you, Yeah, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiet down. And you just go up and fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to fight trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I'm the only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you carry, oh. man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seat and retirement without a life, you damn cripple? Plan? 
treason. We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You should go now. They destroyed us and you. I have been a soldier my whole life. I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. I have to press up to go over. It's very weird. What do you have a helmet on, RTM? How did you do that? on my mask. up again. Uh, is that a ladder? No? Okay. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Can I... Damn, this is pretty cool, though train thing. Can I, like, fall off and die? I'm curious, but not that curious. tape doesn't stick to anything when you really need it. <laughs> That's true. got a very deadly gun right there. Okay. Don't shoot me, I'm friendly. Very friendly. Ah! Uh. 
Oh, he's got his hands up. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Are you surrendering? That's fine. Just don't change your mind, all right? It's fine. Okay. You may live. Hey. Okay. Yeah, probably. Oh, oh god. Climb, Argium! Quit looking at it and climb! Hold on! Um, shouldn't we, like... I feel like this is dangerous. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, it worked out fine. Not our fault. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I, I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. I hope so. Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. Nice arm hairs. Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now. So give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. 
Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? Yep, I, yep, I've been out looking this whole time. Yep. <laughs> so far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Okay, AD to find stations. It's got to be a scene. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. Shut up, I can't hear. They've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died. But the bombs killed tens of millions. Yet we are Something alive. there. We stayed alive throughout those years. almost got killed. Can you guys talk somewhere else? Guess what? Yes. Oh. If you have to choose between the life of a single man, no matter how dear he is to you, and the lives of everybody else, all the dwellers of... Wait a moment, what is that? Listen, everyone. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. <laughs> way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the <laughs> calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. About Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn, and a cruiser of uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's this. Why is that guy American? <laughs> Let's drink to the Glug, glug, glug. Hey, Art 
John, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, Full oh, steam ahead. Uh, we wow, that that's sure. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Can resume the journey and continue exploring the train. I was expecting an arrow from a cube, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. Okay. Uh I mean I'll explore the train a little bit. Sure. Because I know you. Hello, how are you? How are we going? Just so you know, scars and <clears> wings. <throat> and there's definitely a lot of those up there. A couple of words. Okay. Okay, dad. Cigarette. What's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you're not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. I'm not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after our fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? What I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. He would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus. How do you know? Messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I know deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. There's that nice house we could live there. All right, bye. Andrei Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? Uh, about a year, I guess. At first... After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? <laughs>